Good morning. My name is Anne, and until we meet again, let's practice together. So you'll need today a ball or a cushion if you have one, and a cushion or, you know, not too high, you know, like we use in the clinic, something for your head, because we're going to start with a nice opening of our shoulders and our upper spine, which facilitates some deeper breaths and good for the lungs. So we're going to start on our right side and have your cushion or pillow underneath your head. Have your knees bent and this way, you know, line up your pelvis with your shoulders, with your bottom shoulder underneath your top shoulder. Your arms are forwards, so both arms are forwards in line with your chest. Have a sense of lengthening through your top waist. And we're going to bring the top fingertips to the shoulders. And as we begin to relax into our rotation, you're going to dip forwards a little bit with the elbow. And then as you breathe in, you're going to circle the elbow behind you. So your head is supported on your cushion. Your spine is long. And we're circling the elbow. So we're kind of dipping forwards a little. And we're opening through the shoulder girdle. So we're rolling forwards a little, breath in, round we go. You'll sort of open your chest a little bit to the sky and reverse. So we're moving back to the floor behind us and around. So the chest will open as the arm and shoulder moves. The arm is connected into the back, so you'll feel your upper spine moving, your shoulder blade moving as you breathe in circles. One more. Breath in as you go around. And as we come back, we'll bring the hands back together. We're going to our book openings, our twist. So as you breathe in, the top fingertips reach up to the sky. And as you breathe out, let your spine fall, the shoulders open, have a nice big breath in here, and as you exhale, close your book. So your pelvis is staying pretty still as you move through your rib cage. Breath in, exhale, we open. A nice conscious breath in when you're there, and exhale softly through your mouth. We close the book. Let's do two more. Breath in. Exhale, opening. Breath in when you're there. And exhale, closing the book. One more. So the spine is falling back. Your chest is opening to the sky. Your belly button is forwards. Breath in. Try and feel that breath in your ribcage and exhale, close. We're going to circle the arm. You're going to reach your top hand forwards and sort of, you know, take your fingertippies on the floor as you circle. You've got to twist a little through your upper back and your head as you try and feel the floor as much as you can and then you'll sweep past your hips. You'll reach past the bottom hand, fingertip is to the floor, as you rotate. Nice breaths. Don't hold your breath. Let's do one more in this direction. Round we go. You can breathe out when it feels a little bit sticky. And let's reverse. So we're sweeping to our hips. Back. Up above our heads. And around to our bottom hand. Two more. Breathing. Letting the spine twist a little as the head moves with the spine. As we roll back in and place. Very nice. We're going to simply swap to the other side. So pressing up. Realign your body on your other side, a new side, so it could feel a bit different depending on your shoulders. Line up your shoulders 
with your pelvis, bend your knees and bottom shoulder underneath your top shoulder. Pelvis is long, it's lengthening away from your top armpit, hands together and bring your hands onto your top shoulder. We're breathing as we sort of let the elbow drop to the floor a little and then we circle round by our head, in and around and back. Breathing in as you open into the ribs, into the mid spine. Breathing out, relax your face. I feel a little bit tighter on the right side. And we take one more circle in this direction and let's open the other way. So sweeping back, let your top shoulder fall back as you circle through the elbow, try and feel like inside your body, your shoulder blade is gliding up and forwards a little and down. And let's do one more circle this way. Actually one more, because it feels good. <laughs> and then facing forwards, bringing the hands together have the cushion nicely placed for your head. As you gaze at your top fingers, you breathe in. Exhale as you open into the twist. Conscious breath in here. Try to feel movement through your top ribs. And exhale, close your book. Breathing in to open. Exhale into the twist. Breath in here. And exhale, close trying to feel some movements in those ribs, those ceiling ribs as you open, breathe in, exhale, close the book, let's take one more book openings, so we're breathing in to start, exhale as we open, breath in here, and exhale, close, the top hand is going to reach forwards, so you're kind of reaching your top fingertips above and um, beyond your bottom fingertips and then find the floor and try to feel a big circle with your arm breathing you're going to reach forwards you can exhale when it gets a little bit sticky tight and fully around so really finding this mobility through the shoulder girdle let's go one more this way and we reverse. So we're coming to the hips, breathing as we go round and back. Yeah, two more. Allow your upper spine to fall back, your head. It will move as your arm and your shoulder blade moves. One more. And we're back. Very nice. So we're coming on to our backs. You can use maybe a little tiny cushion under your head if you need, but um, I don't need. Uh, we take uh, we take a ball or our cushion between our knees and place our feet nicely for our bridge. So with the hands pressing here, try to feel the broadness of your shoulder blades and that soft opening across your chest as you press your arms and really find your footprint here on your mat. So pressing evenly into the balls of the feet and the heel, a nice squeeze in the ball. And as we exhale, let's just take a couple of pelvic curls. So lengthening through the lower back, breathing in the tailbone finds the floor. Exhaling, squeeze the ball, feel that length in the lower back, your tailbone is wrapping to your pubic bone and back in, tailbone down. Two more, breath out, nice squeeze in the ball, the cushion, and breath in. Shoulders relaxed, breathing out softly through your mouth, exhaling pelvic curl. Next time, 
I'm going to take our flowing bridge. So remembering to feel your footprints and curl. Reach your knees forwards and you should just feel like the bones begin to float away from the spine. When you're up at the top, you know your breastbone, your heart drops a little. Your tailbone lengthens between your thighs to the sky. And exhale, we're coming down. Really feel the pelvic curl. Find your abdominals and feel the length reaching through your tailbone. Breath in at the bottom. Exhale, nice little squeeze as we pelvic curl. Take the knees forwards, float the hips up. Press with those arms. Breath in at the top and exhale, take the bones down. So this is articulation. We're looking to find that movement through each sort of vertebrae. Let's do one more. So take your time to feel the bones floating away from your mat. Breath in at the top. And exhale. Let's stop halfway down on this one. Let's realign our kind of length and tuck our pelvis under as we exhale and come back to the mat. Let's stay up for our nice squeezes. So we're going to roll up into our bridge. We're going to keep that nice lift of the pelvis, but soften down through your breastbone and your ribs. Let's squeeze into the ball, taking our minds right into our sit bones, around the anus as we squeeze in. Keep the pelvis steady. Let's take another six and five. Breathe four and three. Last two. Breathe, inhaling, exhaling, dropping down through the bones. Use your abdominals to curl and lengthen down. Very nice. Taking the ball out, taking the left leg up to the sky. Let's just do a little bit of leg work and stretch. Keep the ribs down, keep the navel down. Point through your ankle and exhale, drop your foot just off the floor. And as you breathe in, you're going to flex your foot and take your heel up. So you can work with a soft bent knee if it's too much for those hamstrings. But don't pull too much. Kind of just feel like you're lifting the leg and point to go down. Breathe in to come up. Exhale to go down. Two more. Breath in. Ribs and navel down. Last one. And up and come down. Right leg will lift and we point to the floor. Just hovering from the floor and flex up. So keep the body nice and steady as we exhale. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One more. Up and bend and come down. Good, let's take our hands around the head as we stretch through the spine and strengthen our torso. So head is heavy, feet and knees together. As we lift the chest, our right thigh is going to come in towards our chest. Breath in, we go down. Exhale, left thigh in as we lift the chest. And we go down. So we alternate. Keeping a nice, relaxed feeling through the head. So the head is heavy in the hands. As we go side to side, breath out, we fold the ribs up. Breath in, we come down. Breath out, we fold up. Let's do one more on each side. Get that nice lift of your chest. Elbows stay wide. Last one. And down. Relax the head. Bring the hands to the side of the body. And as you exhale, feel the waist narrowing like a thick belt is tightening across the front of your 
abdominals. Breathe out and bring your right knee up. Breathe out and bring your left knee up. Good. We're going to take our femur, our thigh arcs. So with the knees floating above the pelvis, we want in our mind to engage those deep abdominals again. So we just feel a soft connection of our lower back in the mat, like we're snuggling into some warm sand in our lower back, using the abdominals. The breath out will tap your toe down. Breath in, it comes up. So we go slowly, breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. So you're in a very tiny, tiny little tilt here. Just feeling the lower back supported against the floor. If you feel your lower back lifting a little, then maybe stop halfway. So you really want to feel the abdominals controlling the leg movement. You can also tap closer to your bottom. And more challenging is to tap that arc away from your bottom. So find what you need. Really hug into those corset muscles. Let's do one more on each side. And left. And up. Both knees are going to stay up. And your hands are going to come back around your head. Now if you don't want to do this exercise with your legs lifting, please place them down and just have the feet to the floor as you do the same exercise. Otherwise our knees are up. And as we exhale and chest lift, we're going to send the tippy toes up to the sky, looking at our thighs, and breath in, we come down. So as you go up, you get that real nice connection. Lower back to mat, head heavy, exhale. Breath in, we come down. Two more, exhaling up, reach. And down. Last one. Exhale up. And inhale down. Very nice. Take the feet down. And bring your arms out to the side of your body. Just have a nice stretch here. As we bring the soles of the feet together and allow the knees to fall out to the sides of the mat. Breathe, relax your face and slowly bring the knees back up for a count of six, five, four, three, two, one and they're together. We're going to do one more bridging exercise. So we're going to stay up in bridge and we're going to work one leg tapping down to the floor just like we did our femur arc. If you feel this is too much load, please practice flowing bridge or you can do the squeeze of your cushion in your knees. So we're going loading a little bit more. So feet apart, bridge position, shoulders relaxed, arms pressing. We're going to exhale and curl through our pelvis, pubic bone to your nose, and then we float up, reaching the knees forwards. Soften down through your breastbone. Now your left leg's going to come up first. So ground your awareness in your right foot. Hug into those inner thighs before you lift. And we're going to breathe in. Left knee's going to come up. We're going to exhale and tap the left toes down. Exhale, tap down. Inhale, up. Three more. Exhale, down. And inhale, up. Two more. Breathe out. And in. Last one. Breathe out. In and place down. Realign. And roll back down. Rolling down. Breathing. Breathing in at the bottom, exhale, up we go, pelvic curl, flowing up, focusing on our left foot, hugging the seat, sit bones together, 
breathe in, right knee comes up, and we tap, exhale one, inhale up, exhale two, inhale up, exhale three, inhale up, last one, four, up and down, realign, and exhale coming down, all the way, all the way, all the way, and release. Very nice. Right leg will go up, and we're going to ankle circle. So we're going around with the ankle, and down. We can do this exercise again. What I could have said is you can just lift the knee and tap once, and then bring the foot down. So you build that endurance. So that's another option for you next time. We're going to finish just with a little bit of crisscross in this position. So we've done this before with our hands back behind our head. We're folding the thigh up, but this time as we lift, we rotate to that thigh. So as we exhale, we rotate and lift, and breath in, we go down. Exhale the other way. So really find your standing foot. And down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. And rotate those ribs. And over. And down. And again. Over. Breathe out. One more on each side. And last one. And down. Very nice. Let's take that stretch again. Chest open, arms open, soles of the feet together. Knees wide, as wide as your mat. Breathe. Relax your face. And bring the knees together for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. We're going to roll to the side. We're going to come up into our all fours. And if you do have your little cushion or your ball, you know, you may be able to use it here. So in the all fours position, we're going to have another little stretch into our shoulder girdle here before we strengthen. So with the hands underneath the shoulders, we're going to take our left hand and we're going to thread the needle, keeping your bottom up. You're going to breathe out to thread through, sort of sweeping your bottom shoulder onto the floor. And as you breathe in, you're going to press into your arm and rotate. So it's not going to be a huge movement here. You're breathing out to bring your bottom shoulder, sweep it to the mat, and breath in, we're gonna open. Your eyes will just gaze where you're comfortable. Breathe out as you thread. Breathe in as you twist and open. We're gonna swap sides and do three on the left. On the right, sorry. So we're exhaling to thread through, and breath in. Both arms open. Good, so your bottom arm is quite firm. Breath out, thread. So we're working through that mid spine again. And one more. Exhale, thread the needle. And breath in to open. Very nice. Hands come back to all fours. Really find a little bit of flexibility through your feet. Let's tuck our toes to see if you can get the balls of the feet and the toes on the floor. Hands spreading, shoulders down from your ears. And let's wave the breastbone forwards. And exhale, curl that tailbone under for our cat. A couple of breaths in. And out. Last one. Breathing in and breathing out. Into the coffee table, as we turn the tops of the ankles and press them down, bring the knees in a little so you're finding your balance here and just lengthen out your left leg. Just lengthen, get that nice reach through your hip. 
slight lift through the blade on the ribs so you find your center and your right shoulder is going to relax down your back as your left arm comes forwards your thumb is to the sky now exhale and just reach up through your fingers and toes and just hold this position so you're just holding this quadruped squeeze right up into the tops of your inner thighs one more breath and exhale down other side reach through your left pubic bone to your nose a little left arm off the mat and thumb up as you reach exhale lift shoulder blade draws away from your ear and you're just holding here holding squeeze those inner thighs one more breath and we come down so flow with your breath side to side thinking about how you're holding your body and your inner thighs so exhale feel the upper kind of energy right up into your ribs and your belly as you go up and breath in to come down so exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, hold on to those inner thighs and down and again, nice long neck, don't drop the head, one more on each side.
then bringing our hands to the sides of our chest. So your hands are really on the right by the chest there, and the legs are lengthening, the cupid bone is down. Let's take those elbows down towards our feet. And as we breathe out again, we float the chest forwards and up. So we're just on that bottom rib. Shoulders down and we come down. So we're breathing at the bottom. Exhale, we reach the heart forwards and up. And we exhale down and breath in at the bottom. So drawing those shoulder blades down, drawing the heart forwards, pubic bone down. And down. Let's do one more. Breathing out to float forwards and up. Breath in at the top. And exhale coming down and breath in at the bottom. Relaxing through your head again. Just a little bit into our leg work before we change position. So keeping the head down and the pubic bone long and down to the mat, we're going to lift the leg up and it's straight. So we're going to bring that left leg up and just hold it up there. Drawing the pubic bone to the floor, lower belly lift and lift a little bit. We just hold it up there and bring it back down. Good, right leg, straight, lift, reach. Front of the pubic bone and the front of the hips on the mat and down. Left leg, it comes up. Hold, breathe and bring it down. Last one, right leg up, hold, breathe and down. Oh, very nice. We're going to stay on our fronts. And then bring our hands back and slowly come back into a little child's pose. Sit back onto your heels. Have a stretch here. Breathing here. And let's do our weight bearing exercise. Let's do our quadruped lift. So if you have your ball or a cushion back into your knees, hands up to shoulders and toes tucked. Nice sort of lift of the chest, ribs and navel. As you exhale and just float the knees just off the floor. Squeeze into the ball, the cushion. Try and hold up there for a breath. Two, maybe three, and then come down and pause. So a beautiful gravity relationship, spine to gravity. So a big bone strengthener. Up we come, let's lift, squeeze the ball. Hold up, if it's one breath, two breaths, as much as you can. Just a couple more if you can. Stay up for one cycle of breath if it's doable. And then you come down, and you come up again. Squeeze in. Squeeze in. One more breath. And release. Very good. Let go of the ball. Sit back on your heels and or your knees and just circle your arms. <sighs> good. If you're here, it's good. If you're here, it's good. Hands on the shoulders. And let's just revisit a couple of shoulder circles. Forwards. And the shoulders are coming up and around and back. And reverse. Going back, up and forwards. Good. So we're coming on to the side, a little bit of side work. So there are options if you'd like a little bit more. If you have a cushion, you might want to use that, or you might not need to use the cushion. Oh, missed the ball. So we're having the head down, we're having our knees bent. The top waist is long as we lengthen out through the tippy toes. Have your hand here for balance. And we're circling. Six, five, still feel the corset muscles wrapping in, abdominals in. Two, 
One and reverse. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And keep that leg up there. Have your fingertips by your chest for balance as you lengthen your top leg out and flutter up to the top leg with your inner thigh. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze those legs together and bring the legs down. Do have a nice stretch here. You're going to bend the bottom knee again. You're going to point your tippy toes in with your knee up to the sky. Bring that top knee towards your top shoulder. Lengthen and then reach and stretch. So you point in, knee to shoulder, lengthen to the sky and reach down. Two more. In, in, up and down. Last one. In, in, up and down. Very nice. We're going to bend the knees. We're going to relax into our shoulders again. We're going to bring that bottom arm underneath. Just let the head fall now and just open that top arm into a twist again. And just stay here and have a couple of lovely deep breaths in. And out. One more in and out. Last one and come back. Good. Up onto your elbow, having your elbow underneath your ear and having your knees bent. Now there's an option here as we just hold the shoulder blade down in the back. You can stay here or you can move up and down. So we're just going to hold this energy here. You can stay here and just work your arm and your breath. Or if you want to, you can lift the pelvis as the arm goes over the head. So if you're here, you're keeping a lot of space, neck long, and you're using the arm over and back. Otherwise, lift the pelvis. So we're going to exhale, arm over, you can lift that pelvis up, and inhale back. Exhale, arm over, so you're stretching the top ribs to the sky, and inhale back. Lift the pelvis if you would like. Exhale, up, inhale back. Two more. Exhale, up, and back. Let's take it to six. Two more. Exhale, up. You don't need to lift the pelvis, you can just work your arm. Last one, but get that stretch of the top ribs up and back and down. Press up, new side, over we go. Lengthening down on the side, having your knees bent, top arm long, shoulders in line with hips, knees bent, top hand to the head, Lengthen the top leg. Reach, reach, reach through those toes. We circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and reverse. We go around and around. You probably do a lot more reps when we're in class because we're chatting. <laughs> two, and one, and keep it up there. Fingertips come down by your chest as you lengthen that top leg and flutter it up. 10 and nine, breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, squeeze. Keep it up there, keep it up there, and come down. Good, bend that bottom knee into our stretch. Bend, knee to sky, knee to the top shoulder, lengthen up to the sky and reach through your tippy toes. So bend in, knee to shoulder, nice and lifted through the toes and reach. Good, two more. Bend in. So the pelvis might move a little, but you're trying to hold the body steady. Bend in, 
knee to the top shoulder, lift and reach. Very nice. Bending through your knees, rolling up onto that elbow, long neck, staying here, keeping this nice energy, sort of where that bra strap would be. You know, armpit kind of squeezing down. You can work just with your arm, feeling the sort of shoulder blade dipping a little and then lifting back up. So we use the body here, or you can work with lifting your hips up as we go over. So breathing out, take your choice as we go over with the exhale, inhale back, nice long neck, squeeze those inner thighs. If you're lifting that pelvis, squeeze your sit bones, round your anus, use the pelvic floor, you don't have to lift the hips, you can just work with your arm, and two more. Last one. And beautiful, press up. We're coming onto our bottom, we're going to have a little stretch, a little twist, and then we stand. So sitting nice and tall, let's work a little bit into a modification of our roll downs. So right up on your sit bones, knees are bent, shoulders over your pelvis, hands around the back of your knees, Relax those shoulders down. Good, we're gonna exhale as we gaze down, we're gonna draw that lower belly away from our thighs and sort of rock on the back of our sit bones. We get that nice scoop right into that lower belly. And we're gonna breathe and come up. Exhale down from that lower belly. Breathe in to come up. Right on your sit bones, exhale, rocking off and behind your sit bones. In and out, come up. Exhale, we're gonna stay down now. Breathe in and stay there. And exhale, begin to come up. Inhaling as you come nice and tall. So exhale, we're gonna roll down. Inhale, we're going to stay there. Exhale, we roll up and at the end we breathe in to feel length. Use those arms, feel your back muscles. Two more. Exhale, we're curling off the sit bones, look down. Breathe in. You like sort of connection with your fingertips as you need. Exhale, up and inhale. Use your arms, lift up through the crown of the head. One more, exhaling, breathing in. Exhaling to start, inhaling to lift and finish. Very nice, let's take our rotation. So we're gonna take our legs out. So you can have your knees bent, as long as you're right up on your sit bones, or sit on your books or your blocks, or have your legs long, but no collapsing. So nice seat, arms are coming up, arms are facing up, so your palms are up, and you open. So again, you're just seeing your fingertips in your periphery vision as we twist around, breathing out. So exhale, twist. Inhale, sit tall, and twist. Shoulders down, legs are not moving, pelvis is not moving, from the ribcage, you've got to pull those shoulder blades back a little, Shh. breathe, squeeze out the stout air from the body and then breathe in again deeply, one more on each side. And we're done. And down. Good. We're going to bend the knees in. We're going to roll onto all fours. We're just going to take a puppy pose. We're going to stretch the shoulders. So knees apart, hands come forwards, and you just allow your arms to stay long. Your elbows are off the floor. And just let your armpits and let your upper spine drape down. So don't worry if the head doesn't touch, we're just getting the arms, upper back, shoulders, lift the pelvis. 
One more breath. And coming back up. Okay, I'm not going to let you get away with not doing a few lunging. So we're going to step that right leg forward. So remember, we talk about really taking it forwards. So try and bring that foot forward so your heels under your knees and allow your hip and your pelvis to fall towards the floor. This nice hip stretch. Press into that front foot. Relax your shoulders. You should feel a nice kind of tug on the front of the thigh there. Maybe quite a bit around the hamstrings if you're a little bit tight there. And we've got to step back and we've got to move that hip joint forwards. Step left leg forwards, take it if you need it. So that front knee glides over your ankle and your pelvis, your pubic bone is falling to the floor. We stay and breathe. One more breath. And step back. Do that again, right leg forwards. Try and step forwards. Bring it forwards, move the hip, let the pelvis fall towards the mat. One more breath here. And step back. Left leg, step it forwards. Take it as you need it and lunge. Not an easy place to stretch the front hip. Standing can be tricky as well. So let's just breathe and soften. One more breath. And then stepping back and coming up to standing. So finding your feet slightly apart and using those abdominals to uncurl, restack as we come up all the way, all the way. So let's do our roll down. A little bit of standing work. And I'd like just to walk out into our push-up. So we're still strengthening the body. And from this position, coming to the end of your mat, sorry, I just need to get my head in the, in the shot here. There we go, that should work. So we're coming with our feet underneath. The push-up walking out is an option. You can stay in your stretch. So let's find that soft opening in the collarbones, micro bend the knees, feel into the feet so you're not heavy, you're feeling your grounding down, but there's a soft lift up in this sort of core and out through the head. Good, let's relax our jaw as we breathe out and go into our roll down. So those arms hang, keep some body weight across the balls of your feet. You're going forwards and over. Bend those knees, stay in your stretch. If you wish to walk out to push up, you're walking your hands forwards into a high push up. Really reach the heels back, pubic bone a little towards your nose and a nice long connected sort of head and neck to your spine. Beautiful, lift up, lift the bottom, walk back. Use those abdominals and uncurl. All the way up, all the way up. Let's take the right arm forwards, around and back. Again, a little movement in the upper spine, left arm forwards, around and back. Let's roll down for one more time. Drop the chin, curl through the belly, roll yourself down. Walk out to push up. You can stay in stretch if you need. And like we did before on the floor, pubic bone to your nose, exhale, and just lift left leg off the floor. Left toes, hold that leg straight. Hug the inner thighs and foot down. Exhale, right toes off the floor. Hug the navel up, one more breath, and down. Good, walk your hands back. Relax your head. Exhale and curl through your body. Use your abdominals, restacking, coming all the way up. <sighs> Let's open again. Right arm will go back. Look back a little. 
around we go. Left arm goes back, around we go. And forwards. Very nice. We're gonna finish with our balance. So use the wall as you need. And we stand with, let me do my left leg first. So left leg is gonna be against nearer the wall. Your fingertips come up for balance as you need. And from here, ground into the left foot. Don't use the wall if you do not need to. And let's just take the right leg forwards. And from here, we're just gonna hold our nice length in our spine as we lift and tap the toe up and down. So we exhale up and down. Good. Three, gonna do six, four, five, little wall balance as you need. Last one. And down. Good. Turn around. Stand tall. Left leg forwards. And up. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Good. Feet together. Turn around. This time we're going to do our balancing. So we're going to lift up through our heels. And come down again. So we're just lifting up through the heels. You can take the arms up as you need to or use the wall. And again, floating up. And down. We're going to stay up and do our little knee bends. So just little knee bends. Ooh, I can stay up then. There we go. And we're just doing our little knee bend. So the spine stays tall. Then we're just going to do two. Imagine you're sort of hugging that cushion in your knees and come down. Up we go. So heels are lifted. Little knee bends. One. Spine tall. Two. And coming down. Good. Two more. Floating up, one, and two, and down, last one, it's a Monday, I'm wobbling, and two, and one, and come down, good, we're going to just go to the side, so we're going to stand again, you can use the wall, so if you're using the wall, left leg towards the wall, and just you can soften the left knee a little bit. You're going to pick your right foot off the floor. You're going to try and keep your pelvis and your waist long as you take the leg out to the side and back. So the left knee is soft, the right knee is soft. You're trying to keep that length in your waist without sort of tipping over and we go another three and two and one and down Woo. turn around if you're using the wall right leg next to the wall right knee is soft left foot is off the floor flex it up soft knee out we go to the side one it's not a huge movement. Come inside the body. You want to feel your bones of your pelvis staying really nice and sort of stable. You're not falling or hooking up. You're just lifting the leg, the hip. Out we go. Three. And two. And one. And down. Oh, relax those shoulders forwards, up and back. Hmm. And we've got one more to do. We're going to turn back around. We've got to go back into extension. So you need to lean forwards. You're not collapsing forwards. You're just tipping forwards. Your left um, knee is bent. Your right tippy toes are behind and you're sort of gazing down at the floor just in front of the tip of your nose. So use the wall, hug up the navel, and we lift. It's not a big movement. One, and two. 
Try and get that reach through the hip. Use your abdominals here. And three, four, two more, five, last one. And down, very nice. Turn around if you're on the wall. If you're balancing, your standing leg is soft. Lean, tip forwards a little bit. Lengthen out through your left tippy toes. Try and feel your pubic bone tipping a little to your nose. And here we go. Six. And five. And four. And three. And two. Last one. And together. Let's have one more stretch. Coming into roll down. Feet apart, nice and tall. Breathe out. 